is over. All right, so to set the tone for the week, um, I'm working from home this week. Might go to a cafe one day during the week. Um, but the real focus is to, what would I say, create content. I have some content to create. So one of the things I want to do more of that don't feel very stiff, but also to show some of my personality and the things I'm working on is vlogs, right? um and that is like day in the life of week in the life of weekend in the life of and if you've been watching my videos then you have been seeing some of that right um there's a video that i did way back probably like two years ago weekend in the life of an entrepreneur with a nine to five and that did really well and i was like you know what i should try it some more so i'm doing those not just to oh you know create this type of I don't know perfect entrepreneur life but what i really do and some days it is really focused work that can be very boring <laughs> to you guys but it's meaningful work and that's just the truth of like growing as an entrepreneur is knowing that there's some work that is mandatory that is very boring but you have to do them and then there's also work that's very exciting and you know i'm working from home mostly now so that means a lot of the content that i'll be creating is just for my work decks so nothing too exciting but you know in between just for me to switch up my routine and just to for my creative juices to flow i will like go to the cafe at least probably once twice of the week and then outside of that i'll just do some other things that i know i need to do so yeah that's it but for this week the focus is really like getting back on my canva grind there's a lot of things new in canva that i want to learn and explore now as i said in like my previous vlogs is that it has been a hectic year literally but things kind of slowing down and kind of smoothing out itself so focusing on just getting back in my canva momentum because listen i have a lot of things that i want to learn but also want to share with my entrepreneurs who are using canva and persons who are who have canva pro and not using it really well so that's one of the things and another thing is just like i have to do a lot of editing and i didn't add that to my list so now that i'm talking i need to add that to my list so i'm doing all of my editing for this video and i edit my videos in filmora and then i've fallen way off with my newsletter that's another thing i didn't add to my list and i really want to send out a newsletter this week but all in all this week looks very promising it's a lot of work and a lot of focus time and all i'm doing is just taking you guys behind the scenes and recording um and just showing you so yeah like i said if you want to see more videos like this just comment and let me know below and also like give this video a thumbs up share it with someone who you know who would like this video all right keep watching reach out and she's like you know Kerry I want you to help me out with a content that I have in mind and I want to create it on Canva so already you know one of the things I've realized is that there is you can set out a day and it doesn't have to go the way you imagine it right so I am excited to really stop and help her with this thing because it's light for me but also at the same time I'm also learning that if i have like a time slotted for something I, I should try my best to commit to that time slot to do what i have to do and then address anything else but because i've already set my priorities for the week and in this period it's just like content planning i know i can break that content planning help her hold to the canva design project and then continue on with my day. it's not a i'd call it it's not a big deal right and one of the things that i've been learning and i've learned along the way is what would I say? If you're gonna say yes to something, 
always ensure that it is something that isn't taking anything from you that you'd like regret at, at the end right because i know a lot of times sometimes we say yes to things and i'm like oh yeah why did i say yes so that's one of the things before i say yes these days i'm like is it okay with it with me is it going to sacrifice something that i'll regret in the end or will i even regret it at all right so yeah i have some time just to do this design project i'm just designing canva for one of my what i call like a client third friend kind of thing and you know doing this reel in canva which i really love and i was like you know i should show you guys what you really can do in canva so, right so it's not quite finished but i'm really like pleased with it and you can check out her podcast here it's carry on friends podcast and it's also a podcast for caribbean americans and i think you guys will love it because it's really great conversations just about culture and or hustle and you know the lessons and insights from um caribbeans who are living caribbean persons who are living in, in america and i'm also doing another graphic for her which is uh, all of these are just reels right and she's like a very fun outgoing person and you know she has some amount of quirkiness to her as well so i'm just working on this so this isn't quite finished but i'm going to zoom in a bit so you can see so we're just talking about dual citizenship so i'm dropping on the passports and i'm just trying to find like a really good placement for them for the passports that is yeah so her thing can shut and everything i'm doing guys is in canva just like i say canva 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 like i am working on stretching myself even more this year and in the coming months um in terms of how i'm using canva my designs are normally sometimes very minimalistic and i want to use like more bold vibrant fonts more vibrant play on layering and that kind of thing so if you want to like keep learning how to better utilize canva you can check out my canvas tutorials but also if you want to you know just see the work that i'm doing in canva then this channel is definitely one for you to subscribe to so yeah i will definitely share the final what would i call the final reels and graphics from this post from this work all right do a little card chat so um like a letter just worked out and uh, i recommitted to at least getting in 30 minutes of walking four times of the week which i believe is doable what i'm doing at that that at the gym normally i'd go to like the park on weekends or whatever but yeah getting it at the gym so it's a little different than my usual routine and quite honestly i prefer working out outdoors but while i don't like exercising per se i love how i feel after like right now i feel so good like i know my day is going to be super productive compared to yesterday when i did a workout not that it wasn't productive but it never feel the same way like how on days where i work out right so if there's anything you can do for yourself um get some exercise in choose the ones you like and do them like for me i enjoy walking i enjoy cycling i enjoy rowing and elliptical elliptical is actually one of my least favorite out of all of them but yeah so do something that you enjoy and i love swimming if you guys don't know that's something that i love so yeah do something for you that makes you feel good and you know keep you going and energized and enhance your productivity so yeah yeah i'm really sweating now guys so i'm jumping off one of the things i was doing while working from home a lot this week was really reaching out to former clients getting kind of referrals getting feedback 
that kind of thing to identify how I can improve my process and my service overall and also I was just doing a lot of editing for my vlogs so it was content creation editing the vlogs scheduling them and getting them out you know that kind of thing just really streamlining my process and currently I am overwhelmed with editing so I'm trying to find a better way on how I can improve that process. I am on my way to a networking event. I'm gonna tell you I'm late. I am late. After working from home most of the week, I decided to go to Kingston Beta. This particular theme was girls in ITT. And it was a great event to attend, especially being that I'm a techie girl and a creative girl, but also because they were also having a pitch competition and that is one of the things that I want to learn to be better at, which is pitching myself, promoting myself, promoting my business, and eventually probably just do pitch competitions. So it was just a great event and it was hosted at the AC Hotel. So fun fact, I don't necessarily like networking events, I can be socially awkward but once I decide to go out and network, I just go there with a goal, meet the people I want to meet and keep it moving and trust me when I said it was a great event. I reconnected with one of my friends who I haven't seen in a long time and also get to meet up or just meet you know, persons I want to connect with in the industry so it was a really good event for me. event is over and I'm going home now. the things about Jamaican KFC is that no matter how late it is, it's going to be full and look at the parking lot. At this point, I'm questioning, am I a graphic designer or a video editor? Listen, I spent the latter part of my week editing videos for my YouTube channel. So one of the things is that I want to be more consistent, which means I'm creating more content, diversifying my content, that kind of thing. And yeah, editing has been eating up my time, eating up your girl's time. But honestly, I've been enjoying just the finished product, trying out new things and yeah so if you have been liking these vlogs give this a thumbs up comment below and let the me know wig know is hear, off yeah. because the time is hot and i'm telling you i'm done working for the day i spent today all right so i spent the latter part of today editing the video all right so my to-do list was to follow up edit videos or edit my youtube video to drop on monday and then I was supposed to do one other thing and do a service guide. I have not done the service guide and I'm exhausted. So honestly, that service guide is going to go over to next week. That's just the reality. Yeah, pop off week, everything, <laughs> everything, everything. But all in all, it has been a great week. Today is Friday and all I want to do this evening is to decompress, watch some TV, eat some food and tomorrow to go to the gym that's it or get some exercising that's it that's it 
After a long week, I decided to go up by Palisades, that's on the airport road, to do some walking. My church was having a service evangelism, and I went out with them just to participate. And yeah, man, brought my mom with me. Went out there to walk. I've never done this like walk in terms of exercising out by Palisados so that was quite refreshing as well I kind of reached late so the sun was out <laughs> I, I'm really ashamed to say this but yeah I was very late very very late but it was all in all it was good go for the walk uh, it's kind of sunny actually I'm very late and I'm actually doing servant evangelism as well so yeah, but I came a little late and the sun is out. It's not old, but here nonetheless. How do you typically end your week, especially a long, hectic work week? I'd love to hear. For me, I like to go get some exercise in, refill, re energize, and just unwind. That's just my vibe.